Service valves are a very easy component, but you want to understand the different terminology. For example, I have a service valve right here. Before you start to adjust the stem, this is the packing, and then this is the valve in here itself. So this is what opens and closes the valve. Before you adjust this stem, there is three positions you can put it. Back seated, when you, it's all the way back. Mid seated, when it's in the middle and front seated when it's all the way in okay but before you adjust this stem you want to loosen the packet so you take the proper wrench this one here is a 9 16 and you loosen it up a little bit so i just loosen that up so then if you don't have a service wrench on you for this valve you need a 3 8 or a 10 mil and then now i can back seat it so that's all the way back seated this would be cracked that's just cracked you turn it a bit more, you get to the mid seat point. And then go all the way down, this will be front seated. And then after you, just say you're pumping down the compressor, we front seat it. So now that compressor would be closed off. What you want to do is tighten your packing. Because what happens, every time you open and close this and you don't loosen and tighten the packing, it starts to wear the packing gland. And this is where you could get lots of leaks. We talk about this extensively in the supermarket program. We have a building a solid foundation supermarket program that talks about different things just like this. Just this little tip could save you hours of trying to find leaks that you may have caused. Because I've done it before. I've done it in the past where I've loosened this, didn't loosen this because I didn't know. And over time, you know, those valve, they start to leak. And then you have to replace, sometimes you have to replace them. Sometimes you can't change the packing in them. There's ways to kind of get by, and we talk about that in the program with it, where you can use, like some old school guy showed me where you use Teflon tape and you wrap it around inside here, and then you put it underneath this packing gland. You have to properly isolate, and you have gotta understand what you're doing. And this is what we talk about in the service program. So when you're out there in the field, that you get a, at least a good idea. You're gonna have to put the work in. But head to the Refrigeration Mentor website, check out the supermarket program, see if it's something that interests you. Because these are some of the little tips and tricks that you will learn that's gonna help you grow your knowledge. Just a little tip like that could save you hours of headaches. My name is Sean Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.